Chrome OS 125 is here, and I will show you everything you need to know about the latest version. If you want to support me, I would be delighted if you would give this video a thumbs up and write a comment to support me and my work on the channel for free. You can also support me financially with a channel membership or with a super thanks under the video if I help you with my videos. Let's start with the first new feature, which should be of interest to all of you. As you will have noticed, the design of the settings has been modernized and new functions have also been added. For example, if you go to the system settings, you now have the option to choose whether you always want to restore sessions, whether you want to be asked after a restart whether the session should be restored, or you can deactivate this option so that no windows or apps are open after a restart. Interestingly, the new menu is visible on my Acer Chromebook Plus 514, on my ASUS Chromebook Plus DX34 the old menu is still visible, although the Chrome OS version is identical. In any case, you can look forward to the new menu because I find it much tittier and more logically clustered than before. Feel free to write me in the comments if you would like another detailed tour of the entire Chrome OS system and would like me to show you the complete interface. If you play games like Minecraft on the Chromebook, there is now a new dashboard for games where you can set up individual controls on the Chromebook so that you can also play games from the Google Play Store with your your keyboard even though the games actually require touch input. If you have a Chromebook Plus, you can also take an in-game screenshot and you can even record your entire game on video, even with automatic recording of you using the front camera. Google also caused a stir with a recent demo showing how Chrome OS runs on a Pixel smartphone, turning the device into a productive mini PC with an external monitor, mouse, and keyboard. I've already shown you in my video on the Lenovo IDPad Duet 5 Chromebook that the move from Chrome OS to the smartphone would be a real game changer. And this tech demo now shows that Chrome OS is indeed possible on smartphones and may soon be upon us, even if Google emphasizes that this was just an experiment for now. The aim is to further improve the integration of Android and Chrome OS and expand the usage options. But how awesome would a Google Pixel 8 with Chrome OS as the operating system B. The fact that Google is currently working on many major topics for Chrome OS is also clear from its acquisition of virtualization specialist Caneo. This will allow Windows applications to be used directly in Chrome OS and Android in the future. Even if the integration of Cameo is primarily aimed at the business sector, private users should hopefully also be able to use the last Windows programs they still need on Chrome OS in the future. With Android apps, Linux programs, progressive web apps, and Windows programs. Chrome OS would definitely have a very wide range and flexibility for productive work. If you want to know how to play Fortnite on any Chromebook, click on the video on the left now. If you want to know why you should buy a Chromebook Plus, click on the right video now. And I say, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.